I'm from New York. I'm here for the Urban Realities Design Challenge. I'm coming from Barcelona. I'm from Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Uh, I'm from Team 7. I'm from Melbourne. Uh, my name's Catherine. I am a part of the team from Outer Research Lab and we're running Urban Realities, the Landscape Urbanism 3-Day Design Challenge. So we've had a really hectic morning. All the participants arrived. They've got their welcome packs, they've got their uniforms, they've got their hard hats. So I'm pretty sure everybody's ready to go. Fingers crossed. There's lots of excitement in the air so we're feeling pretty good about it. I don't want it to start, I want the competition to start soon, right? Like, yeah. I don't want to wait anymore. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but excited, yeah. Great, excited! It's very exciting to be here. Um, I feel very enthusiastic, yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're excited. Basically, there's been so much build up in anticipation, so much information in the process, and now that we actually have our our purpose and our brief, it's it's good to be able to put all of that thinking, you know, into something concrete and solid that we know we can use. We'll, we'll turn it into um, into something sexy and fun. M A D Collective, movable, able design. We're here down at Docklands, and I'm, we're designing your new world. Yeah, we've been brainstorming like mad, sitting in the sun, and um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, We've got things on the roll. Uh, I think we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. There's so many ideas going around. and We're really going to be pushed uh, to create some of these great ideas that we're having. but um, Everyone's working uh, from a different angle, so we've just spent a lot of time on our own developing some ideas, and we're about to sort of get together and try and Simplify. Okay, so it's day two. We've had a little bit of chaos with all the teams needing to hire the cars, needing to get their budget sorted, needing to get their design signed off. But most of them seem like they're pretty much on track. 
A lot of the sites are just starting to, you're starting to see materials appear, you're starting to see a little bit of construction take place. Um, I have a feeling there'll be a slight testing period before you start to really understand, you know, what each of these sites is emerging to be. So, don't think anyone's too tired yet. I think this will be the first big night, that'll be the long haul, and then we'll, we'll see what we come up with tomorrow. So we've got um, a number of plants that are all going to come together at the, at the last possible moment, just to keep everyone guessing. We've been absolutely thrashing out some amazing ideas. Some team members are blogging and um, preparing media stuff. Uh, I've got some team, team members scavenging extra recycled materials and um, some other guys just gone to the hardware shop. We're um, at an exciting point in, in the design process. We've um, got our materials and we're starting to sort of experiment um, with, well not experiment, test how they'll come together. So it's quite a critical moment, um, um, but also exciting. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, what we've designed and how it'll come together will work. I'm on the support team for the Urban Realities Competition. At the moment, we're just going around to all of the sites um, and we're giving them all their site permits, which allow them to make interventions into the public realm. G'day, I'm Craig Douglas. I'm uh, one of the support team organisers of this event. Uh, we're here today. This is day two. Yep, this is day two. Uh, we're pretty tired, but it's going well. Uh, the teams are at a stage where they've all, you know, designed their, their interventions and um, are partly in the shed constructing, finishing off their designs and partly out on site um, getting on with the work. So we're really uh, excited to see what, um, what becomes of, of what they do. Uh, this is not much sleep, but it's going to get a fair bit sleepless from here on in. I think there's going to be a few late nights. Okay, so we're on day three. We've probably got around 18 hours to go. I have a feeling that there's a few tired bodies. We had our first sort of 24 hour shift last night. Um, but it looks like the sites are finally coming together. There's been a few teams that are constructing things off-site. So basically a really quick update, we're building a sequence of pods which are going to create a pathway. Our idea is to define space to allow a connection from an old um, part of the wharf into a new part of the wharf. We're building a, I've been calling it a bower actually, but um, some people have been calling it a, it's a graft, it's the urban graft. What we're creating here isn't a piece of urban art or a piece of landscape. We're actually making a clinic to address this disorder called urban malaise. We're making, we, we've been calling it a pixel beat. It's kind of a little uh, uh, a dot on the Docklands of, of the kind of the idea of a, the fantasy of having a beach here. And We're uh, getting the main structure up now. It's finally coming together. What we're doing now is um, we're trying to get as many of these bottle caps as possible into, um, and we try to thread them together. Um, we're standing in the middle of the wind tunnel that is uh, Waterfront City and Docklands. Um, as you can see, the wind is something that we can't ignore on this site, so um, everything that we talked about sort of just came back to the wind. And It's kind of interactive and we really hope that when we get these out in the open air, the wind will pick them up, the light will pick them up, and it ties in with, you know, the water and, like I said, wind and the elements. And It, it, it gives a little bit of uh, that peaceful feeling, that meditative um, sense. This one sheet has taken us two hours to cover and we have eight of these to do. So I'd say we none of us will be seeing any sleep tonight. We're kind of really against the clock, but we're all kind of up for it. And uh, we've got someone bringing us some beers down later on, so that'll either speed up the process or slow it down. We'll find out. <laughs> How far through are we? Maybe 25% through. 80% done. 75% without wanting to be too optimistic. I feel really tired. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing this for... Uh, for how many hours yesterday? We've we've been going for a couple of days now, until three o'clock in the morning last night. And they've been uh, pretty late nights and not a lot of sleep in the kind of large-scale hostel that we're staying in. We're always up all night. Yeah, I'm, I'm possibly going to do um, like some all-nighters with the team. Yeah, I think we're going to be pulling an all-nighter tonight. It's uh, looking pretty likely. Yeah, we're we're feeling a bit tired. Uh, thir 13 cubic meters of sand, I believe. Now putting it in, quite a bit of it in bags is, it's gonna be a long night. Mm -hmm.